Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are planning to make a wireless robot for robo race competitions and at the same time you don't have budget for this brushed speed controllers, then definitely this video will be really helpful for you. Make sure you watch the complete video. We have already made few videos on the similar topic before using Arduino and L2980 motor driver. In that we faced majorly two issues. The first one was since it's a low current driver, it was not able to control the Johnson motors for more time and it was getting heated up. And the second issue was we were not able to control the RPM of the motors, which is very required feature for robo race competitions. So considering these two issues, we have come up with this solution using the BTS 7960 high current driver. So this is the one we'll be using today. You need two of them to control both the side motors. One of these costs around 350 rupees. So easily under 800 you get two of them. So definitely this will be very cost effective compared to the brushed ESCs. If you want to know more on this driver, you can get the part 31st tutorial link from the i button. For controlling, I'll be using this Flysky FS i6 transmitter and receiver. This is the Roborace chassis which I have already with 500 RPM Johnson motors. So here these two are in parallel and similarly these are in parallel. So the final output points have taken outside. And for reading the transmitted values, I'll be using Arduino Uno as a microcontroller. To run the motors, I'll be using BTS7960 motor driver. Right now I have only one with me, so I'll be showing for one side motors, but I'll be providing the code and circuit diagram for both the side motors. So make sure you purchase two of them. Next, we need a 12 volt power supply to run the motors. So I'll be using this 11.1 volt 3 cell LiPo battery. These electronic components like BTS and the receiver need 5 volt power supply for their operation. So if we use the VCC of the Arduino board, then the power might be insufficient. So we'll be needing one more external 5 volt supply to power these components. So the best solution is using a 30 amp drone brushless ESE. This we can easily connect to the same LiPo battery. And here we get the regulated 5 volt supply. To make the connection simple, I'll be using this breadboard and some jumper wires. Now we'll start doing the connections. You can get the circuit diagram link from the description box. Starting with the motor driver, here you get all the namings of the pins. And other side, B plus B minus goes to 12 volt power supply. M plus M minus goes to motor terminals. Next, I'll be taking the plus 5 volt and ground from the drone ESC onto the breadboard. I'll leave this white signal wire unconnected. Only I'll be using the red plus 5 volt and the black ground. Here this row will be plus 5 volt and this will be ground. The VCC and ground of the motor driver goes to the common plus 5 volt and ground.
Aryan and Alien goes to Arduino digital pins 2 and 4. RPWM and LPWM pins goes to Arduino PWM pins 6 and 9. You can refer the circuit and follow the same steps for second motor driver also. Moving further, to power this receiver, I'll be using the B slash VCC port. Here the center pin will be plus 5 volt and the bottom one will be the ground. So these two also goes to common plus 5 volt and the ground on the breadboard. For control signals, I'll be using the signal pins from channel 1 and 2. which are at the top. Channel 1 signal pin goes to Arduino PWM pin 3. And similarly, channel 2 signal pin goes to Arduino PWM pin 5. Now we are almost done with the circuit. Here, this motor driver and the receiver will be already getting the power from the drone ESE. Next, after uploading the code, remove this USB cable and use this round pin jack and 9 volt battery to power your Arduino board. Next, we have to do some settings on the transmitter. This is the channel 1 and this is channel 2. For robotic movements, we have to mix both of these channels. For that, Go to setup. First, I'll show the default settings in the display. So, as we can see, both of these channels are moving separately. To mix them, go to LE1. and turn this on and long press cancel button to save now in the display we can see both of these are mixed There are few things you should also change in the code if your transmitted values are different from what I have used here. For that, upload the code and open the serial monitor. So here, by keeping the stick in default state, I am getting values around 1490. So if I slightly move the stick forward so this will be my forward starting position which will be around 1530 so I'll keep this value as my start forward 1530 and similarly moving the stick to the forward direction till the end I'm getting around 1980 So, I'll make the value forward end as 1980. From the default position, slightly moving the stick backward, I'm getting around 1460. So, this will be my backward starting position. Moving the stick backward to the extreme end, I'm getting around 970. So I'll make this backward end value to 960. So these four values just do trial error method and adjust based on your transmitter values. That's it. Then you can upload the code. Finally, I have connected 
the 12 volt supply for motor driver and also for drone ESC. So the receiver is getting power and also the motor driver. And for the Arduino, I'll be connecting this 9 volt supply. Now it's powered. Switching on the transmitter. So this is how you can make your Roborace bot without even buying the brushed ESCs. I hope this video will be useful. If you have any doubts, just let me know in the comment section below. All the source files and the product links are provided in the description box. For more such videos, Subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next one.